Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Martin. I'm the worship leader at Sunny Place Church of God, and this is the first part of a tutorial series over the program OpenLP. This is a powerful open source program designed for church service presentations, and it really can do a lot. It's easy to use and very flexible, but it's not super user friendly, and its functions are not immediately obvious. I hope these tutorial videos help you to feel more comfortable using the program and adapting the settings to meet your needs. Today we're going to look at the interface of OpenLP and learn about these six different windows that you see on the screen. Now these windows aren't permanent. You can click and drag them around, resize the windows. You can customize this screen however it works best for you. But I like the default view the best, so this is the configuration that we're going to work with today. The first window we'll take a look at is this one on the left that says Library. This is the Media Manager and it holds all of the content that you'll load into OpenLP. This is where you'll find all of your songs, your Bible versions, your images, videos, slides, etc. This houses it all. As you can see, there are six different tabs. Songs, Bibles, Presentations, Images, Media, and Custom Slides. This helps keep everything organized for you. Second, we have the preview pane. This gives you a preview of anything that you click on one time. For instance, if I click on Be Thou My Vision one time, then it will show up in the preview pane. And then I can click through the various slides and it will show me what it would look like on the screen right here. But the next panel, the live panel, does show you what's on your screen at any given moment. I clicked one time on Be Thou My Vision to see a preview of the song. But now I'm going to double click on Be Thou My Vision. And now it's in the live panel, meaning it's being projected onto the screen right now and anybody that's in the church can see it. And again, I can scroll through these different slides and as it changes slides on this screen in the live panel, it's changing slides on the projector above. Our fourth panel over here is called the Service Manager. And just like the name suggests, it manages the services. This is where you will build your order of service. The library holds all of your songs, scriptures, slides, pictures, etc. And the service manager holds only those items which will be used for the particular service. I've added a few things in here just to show you how it works. If I double click here, then that shows up. You can see that it's here in the live panel. And again, I can go through with my down arrow key. You can click and drag things to move them around and change the order of the service or you can delete any of the items. Under that, we have our theme manager. The theme controls how each slide looks. It will change the background image, the font sizes and colors, etc. And this window shows us all of the themes that we have available. It also gives the option to edit existing themes or to create new ones. Lastly, we have the projector manager. OpenLP allows you to control certain projectors from the program itself. From this panel, you can turn projectors on and off and perform other functions. However, our projector at Sunny Place is not compatible with OpenLP, so we never use this window. You can control which windows you want to see by clicking on the View button up here in the menu bar. And you can click on one to get rid of it or click on one to add it again. Alternatively, if you don't want to see one of these windows, for instance, we don't want to see Projector Manager anymore because it's not useful for us, all you have to do is click on this little X. All right, that's it for this video. And now that we've seen each of the windows and what they do, next time we can jump in a little deeper and learn how to use the buttons and controls on each panel. Thanks for watching. God bless.